Western Canada is now a very big part of Canada. It's not like many years ago when it was just a small part of Canada. It, it pays a lot of the bills to the rest of Canada. And so uh, it should be a concern to the federal government. Canadians are used to the threat of separation when it comes to Quebec, but a battle is brewing between East and West, which could lead the country down a difficult path. What happens when you have a small jurisdiction, uh, small in terms of population, uh, that's very rich and is looked upon to subsidize uh, everybody else? And when you do that, uh, what happens is that you have to take a lot away in per capita terms from the small rich region to really have that much impact on the rest of the country which has a large population. Alberta's soon-to-be Premier Jason Kenney made a lot of headlines calling for an end to equalization payments. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Equalization is only 7% of those total net transfers that go to the rest of the country. And, and so it's really only a minor part compared to all the other things that are, that are going on. So we have to make uh, Alberta and Saskatchewan feel that there are gains to be part of confederation, not, not being a penalty of being par uh, part of confederation. These are a few of the solutions that Mintz proposes, and I'm just going to touch on a couple of the big ones here, starting with the fact that Canada doesn't have a federal elected body representing regional interests like they do in the U.S. and Australia. He says having an elected Senate might help to fill those needs. He also points out that provincial trade barriers continue to undermine any gains the West would get from federation. He says equalization is not well designed, meaning when times are bad in the West, we only see a fraction of the billions of dollars we send out when times are good. And if you don't think these issues are big enough to see confederation crumble, just look to Spain and the Catalonia region. They were very uh, concerned about the amount of money that they were paying to the central government uh, that was subsidizing uh, poor regions in, in, uh, in Spain. And in fact, that's what a lot of what the independence movement was focused on uh, in Spain. The best example of that in the West is the resource sector, where Mint says many feel the feds are strong on environmental policy, but weak on supporting development. And we have been able to accommodate, we've been able to compromise, we've been able to achieve uh, things in a way that all regions feel that they, they can gain from having confederation. And that's what I hope will, will, will be done. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.